Hey guys, this is Fluent Nerd here with another episode of Bomb Man Generation. I'm sorry this has been taking so very, very long, but uh, I've been lazy. Uh, if you notice that I sort of ended in Octo Octo the Octo Shoals and then Shoals sort of I'm not here now. That's because there's about a minute left in the gameplay, we're pretty much right at the end. And I just didn't want to bother keeping the Wii on that long, so um so you might have to miss it. I might go back to it later, I don't know. But um now that we're done with we got the um at least it's been a while. Hey, what was his name? Oh well, now that we got slow case here and uh we're going to go to Tentasia and do the world one proper. Okay, so here we go. Sadly, this means that we have loads of cutscenes. Kai man, that's it. Thanks, Navi. All right then. If you ever played the original Bomberman, you might recognize these enemies. These are like the weakest enemies in the original Bomberman I know. I played on the iPod. I know, pathetic. Oh well. Which, before you ask, is all f is well, completely fried due to me letting my cologne, and uh, yeah, speed up and all, due to letting my cologne being in the same pocket as this thing. So yeah, that sucks. Oh well, I'm gonna try to make this video a lot faster so I can actually finish the level in this video. So that might be nice. Now, what's funny is the fact that he's going to tell you to use a big bomb at the bit, that big boulder. What you can do is actually throw it and move the boulder, and then he can tell you to use it. Watch. See? Kind of already did that, Nobby. Alright then, so. And if you... And if for some odd reason you don't know who Nabi is, at the very least, check out my um, friend Hydroponic Caravan's channel and his Ocarina of Noob Let's Play. Eh, we only got, we, we have nine episodes, we have ten episodes recorded, but we're only on like three episodes in. Eh, well, I, he kind of has to upload it through my computer, so, basically, it's, um, when he can make more episodes is limited to when he comes over. Yeah, so, um like to be able to do that. By the way, this, again, if you haven't noticed yet, this is my first time actually doing a soul, do it, just, let's finally, let's playing just all by myself. But this part can be pretty evil, because, um, you actually have to throw a big bomb, and it hits a tree that's off screen, making a bridge. Pretty, pretty, not that nice. Oy, stop interrupting me. Come down and achieve something. Do your homework. Clean the attic. Good. Oh, anyways, but, um, this is my first, let's play, this is my first episode finally doing things all on my own, so. I'm very happy that I'm able to ramble all on my own without the assistance of others. Okay, now, if you notice, I've gotten fire up max. Fire can only go up to five. I'm not sure if I already said that or not. No. Fire can only go up to five, yeah. And instead of six. Not 100% sure why, but the blast rate seems the regular ones are pretty freaking huge by this point, see? It doesn't t change the damage at all. It just changes in how big the bomb radius is, which means it's e easier to hit things when you're not when you're not doing this when you're not doing this to them. By the way, three kicks and run. The stun animation will last that long. So that's nice. Um, uh, one thing I like to lament: Why on earth are all my good, all my favorite let's players Let's playing about all my favorite games, all the games I really like, like Pikmin 2, Luigi's Mansion, Super Mario, NCS recently did, um, um, Super Mario RPG, uh, so many great games. Speaking of Super Mario RPG, I'd like to be able to do some, um, SNES games fairly, pretty soon, if I can, um, yeah, gotta do that. That, that one actually took me a really long time to figure out, but I'd like to be doing some SNES games, but I'm gonna have to buy a cable for it. Some, um, RBY cables for him, so it, in order to do that with the um, Dazzle hookup and everything. Now, here it's very interesting because I already have Kaiman now. We're going to be going into our first Karabomb battle. No, we do not need an explanation. I'm going to give it to, you, to myself. Now, if you didn't notice earlier, we have some stats. Um, Kaiman is level 8, his HP is 24, attack 10, defense 12, special 5, and speed 8. Now, these little empty things are all the, all the Karabombs in the game. 
And if you're wondering, these guys, which are kind of hard to see, are merge care bombs. They'll go into that when they're relevant. I've only ever gotten one of them. I don't... Because I've never actually gotten most of the way through this game. So I'd like to... Hmm, I'd be very interested in getting them all. Uh, this guy. Uh, but you'll know my frustration later. So yeah, it's, again, so... Now, but wondering now, why are you wondering what these are? Remember my stats? Well, these are my formations. I can attack, defend, special, use my special attack in any order. And I pick one of them, so I'm gonna pick uh, what was my best attack. So I'm gonna pick attack rate. So raid guard, then first move, then get wild. So I pick three of them, and then we battle out and we do three formations. So round one starts. I shall attack. 9 damage, and I win. Because Endless is level 3, and I'm level 8. <laughs> this, most battles will not be that yeah, easy. Endlar. Yeah. Really, I won't, I don't, I use Kaiman most of the time, so he won't be getting much time in the sun. He's gonna be very limited, but he, he um, you can throw bombs higher, like, and farther, so. Just watch, for example. Throw bombs like that. And like that. But with Anlar, like that, and like that. Significant difference. So he can be useful in getting some hidden stuff. He's ex explaining the care bomb feed that I told you about along the last episode as well. If, if you actually want to know about this stuff, then watch the last episode for crying out loud. I mean, this may be the first hit level, but it isn't the first episode, so come on. Again, always just check out Hydroponic Caravan for all sorts of stuff. I think he's making a Minecraft Let's Play now. Um, which is pretty cool. Uh, which, where does this go? So we gotta be careful because some of these are one way only. Like that. But, this way is the way I need to go. Because... Oh, God. Alright. Now, the thing is, see this? These guys go down if you come close. But, what you gotta do is play a little game of mini golf or something. And, well... Of a game of incredibly dangerous mini golf. And this part can be a bit annoying, but thankfully it's the only part that I can remember right now that you actually have to do this, so. You won't have to do this that often. Bomb Precision bomb kicking is not that. You don't have to do it that often. I may be completely wrong, we might have to do it like next episode or something, but I seriously doubt it. Well, it's not It's not uh, that often that you, that you need to do it. Ow! And I think Enlar needs at least one level. So. And this sends me back. Now, but the reason is I want to go this way. Now we want to go this one because now, if we had skipped that, we wouldn't have been able to get that all up. So, this is introducing a very rare concept of not being able to backtrack that far. Oh no. Thankfully, this little in-game timer sort of helps me out here. Now, here's something really funny. Watch this. Now, well, you'll never take damage from that, but... Now, what, this one really stumped me, but for some reason, so it's very easy. Take Anlar, and then throw one. Oops. No, 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 no. Get away, get away, get away. And throw one. See it? You see the roots of the tree right over there? You see the tree? Throw it over there. Oh, you, you, can, you can use a regular bomb. And then you climb on over and grab your goodies, which include okay, it's just some care bomb feed, so it's no big deal. But um, yeah, that one took me the longest time to figure out, believe it or not. Um, oh, oh yeah, I know what that is. So go to the other. These guys are what I bring Gamlor out for because they're really annoying to hit. Thankfully, they get stunned for a very long time if you can hit them. So, boom. Nice and easy. Now, normally your first instinct here would be run across the logs and cross over the bridge. This completely disregard what he says, though, because if you write it down, you get a little thing here. By the way, situations like this, bomb guard. Got a little spe speed up there for an for um, Kai Man, which he freaking needs it. Let's see, and oh yeah, still hidden, trying to get it out of the way here. Boom. But, um... I'm not really sure, I don't think you can... Can you get rid of the water source? 
Because that would be what the stairs are for. I mean, that would sort of destroy your any ability to um. Yeah. Oh. Well. God. Yes, he's going to go ahead and explain stuff for me. Yeah, bomb merge item. Those will become important a little bit later. Thankfully, not that much later. It doesn't take that long to get the, to get the, use the bomb merge, unlike the other two. Yeah, there are four different types of bombs. Ooh, spoiler. Boom. Yeah, I can just use a regular bomb. I usually like the big bomb those guys because they're pains in the butt. Finally, I have maxed out. This is the best bomb man we'll ever get. So, now we, we are here at... Hold on, let me check the time. Mm. Well, I suppose this is a good place to end it, I suppose. So, see you guys next time.